Okay, we are back in the game with Osher, and it's early morning. There's 58 users online. Looks like someone's up there macro. Snowy. We have full mana again after logout. That's so interesting. Start out with my energy bolt, of course. So, last time around, we continued to gain Majory, Meditation, Macing, all the regular stuff. We went to shame. We didn't get any treasure maps, which is a shame. I don't know why I have this much gold on me when I logged out. That's weird. So, first thing I need to do is get some cloth. Need to cut up some bandages. Stats here. And we need to get some components, some regs. Regardless of what we end up doing. Goodbye. Okay, the shop is full. So we need all the black pearl, we need all the blood moss, we need a little bit of garlic. Lots of mandrake root, and some nightshade. Let's go over here. Let's once again get all the pearl and all the nightshade. And we might as well get some extra root just to have it. And now all we need is a little bit more pearl and nightshade. We can get that over here at the uh, alchemist shop. Well, I guess it's not the alchemist shop. Well, I guess we can't get it from him, but we can get it from this guy. So we'll get Pearl and Shade. And then I need one more batch of 20 Black Pearl. Need to remember to cast. Full mana does nobody any good when we're trying to gain. All right, first gain of the of the uh, episode here is in Majory. Having a rough time. Okay, vendor buy. Get all thirty of those. Tempted to get more nightshade. So that should give us like almost a hundred casts thereabouts. So out of the sixteen hundred we used about a thousand gold to buy spells to buy regs, I'm sorry. Can't see my pack. Let's put all that away so it's not so messy. Still pretty messy, but you know it wouldn't be the worst idea to have. Some kind of pack to put all this stuff in so that if I die, it's easier to loot, but I guess I'm not really worried about that. Not much. Okay, so last time we also, I think, I think we marked a rune at Deceit. Yeah, so we've got a rune to Deceit now if we decided to go there for whatever reason. We still have our Shame rune. I'm just thinking where exactly we should head out. We could check out a different dungeon just for to shake it up a little bit. We could go to wrong. Just to see. Maybe mark a rune. There's ogres, ettins, ogre lords there. A lot of, a lot of trash stuff on the first floor. Lizardmen, I think. Things like that. What is my meditation? It's at 25, so I need 75% mana. So 2.5 times 4 is 10. 12.5, 13. So I need to have 53, 43 mana to be in the sweet spot, give or take. Could get my silver mace out to feed a bunch of liches. Tempted to do that. That might be an okay idea. Let's take the mace and uh, defeat some liches over at the U near the U crypts or whatever. So hopefully we don't get killed and lose it. 
Where is my arm disarm macro? I want to delete that, put it at the end of the line, so that I can change it at will. We're not going to be using the quarter staff, we're going to be using the mace, so we want it in our right hand. Majory is at 58.3 base. There's another game. And adjusted for stats is 61.8. It's pretty good. Definitely making progress. Look, all those bandages, they're already cut. I mean, it doesn't take any time at all. So let's head down to those crypts. Or the ruined house, or whatever it is, really. Of course. Maybe we'll mark a rune there this time, being that we can do that without a big problem. So we can mark a rune at the Liches, since we may be going there to use our silver weapon regularly. Hopefully we'll get another silver weapon or two from defeating Liches. Britain, Joel, you. There's a player, Ladino, the fair Ladino. Looks like he was checking out the vendor shop. Who's that guy? The paladin. Let's drop an energy bolt on this unsuspecting bear. Seems like that's been adjusted somehow. Because it doesn't want to remount me anymore. Current title is the proper. I think Liches will give us a little more fame and karma than the Earth Elementals were. They should, but I'm not 100% sure. Okay, there's that bridge that overlooks the road. So we're getting much closer now. Should be just in sight down here. Yeah, it's right down there. So I'm going to mark my rune up here. Kind of some distance. We got a major game. macro is not in the convenient spot to cast it many times in a row. But normally you're not casting mark all the time. Okay, you witches. And we'll put that in the bank in a little while. I'm not worried about it right now. We should be okay. And it's not like it's that far away. So let's go for one of these guys. Just one. You coming? I think I ended up with two. Let's see if I can go far enough away to lose aggro. And then just come back and get one. I'd like to see what kind of damage I'm going to do to this lich. With my silver mace. Oh, I got both again. So great. Look at that. So, four hitter. Still got to watch out for magic. Mostly looking for low level scrolls to fill out the book. Missing some first, second, and third circle. So at this point, I can take out two liches no problem, on my own. 
And yes, like I thought, good amount of fame, good amount of karma. So these could raise our title. That is a new wand. We'll save that and identify it later. Let's see what else we got here. Teleport, but I already got it. So these guys do drop low level, which is kind of nice. Did I even take his gold? Yeah, okay. Okay, so we can slay these guys. I mean, this is no problem. Amazing what difference a silver weapon makes, right? I mean, that is night and day from the quarterstaff. Still bring me pretty low, though, so... Would not be good to get three of them on me or so. Another wand, some more gold. Garlic, I'll take it. Well, I don't think this really has that much use for me, but I'll take it anyway. Can I heal? Yes. Getting meditation. Oh, there's another one. If I can just get him stuck behind those that barrier, which maybe he is, maybe he's not. Move a little further here this way. Yeah, he's still going to come after me. That's all right. No, I guess not. Come here, buddy. Oh, he is stuck. Loot this. Oh, another lich has spawned. Let's go ahead and take out this one then. Don't want it to get too crazy. They shouldn't start casting magic on you until you aggro them back, but it's not always the case, it feels like. Recall scroll. Couldn't get that lucky in the beginning. So, let's see what he's got over here. Nothing to cure. Yikes. So we're just slaughtering liches. I mean, that that's the difference a silver weapon makes. Period. Firefield, I have it. Create food, I think I have it. Mind Blast, Explosion, I can cast that. I guess there's no point. So I gained a 25 mana. That's something to take note. So the sweet spot is bigger than I thought, but good to know. So, wow, I, I mean, I cleared those out. Makes you kind of wonder if you can take on a Lich Lord. I just know they do so much more damage and have such a bigger mana pool. But with a silver weapon and some better healing or better magery, it could definitely be done. Be nice if I could find one out in the wilds, but... Wow, I cleared that spawn, like, instantly. Got 1,500 gold. A couple magic wands. Got almost a point in meditation so far. Gained half a point in majory. This has been... Wow, get out of here. Did my bandages already click? I didn't see my fingers slipping. Oh, okay. Perfect timing. I almost overwrote them. Yeah, and this is just a silver mace of might. So, I mean, that's the best we could hope for right now, but imagine getting vanquishing or power. How much better that would be. We're the admirable now. So maybe we'll get some more ID wands, which we don't need because we've got two really good ones. But who knows what we'll get. 
Another recall scroll. Man, if only these were that common when I was really needing one early on. So this spawn of like four liches is really too little for us. Because of our 80-something mazing and tactics. Our general stats. Is that a lich? No, it's a goat. Yeah, I still think we're in level 3 fame. Admirable. I really have to look at a chart, but I think this is level 3. Liches might take you to level 4, maybe, if you kill a bajillion of them. 5 being the highest level. Yeah, so really I think we've kind of outgrown this spawn in a way. This might be a good thing to recall in, hit, and recall out. Just crazy what a silver weapon can do. Getting all kinds of gains. Doing great. Don't need that. Let's practice some majoring in our downtime. that ever-looming presence of BJV. BJV Liches. Not you Liches, BJV Liches. Yeah. I guess. I guess that's that. I mean, no point in sticking around here if the spawn is this slow, which it's not slow, it's just that we're defeating them so fast. You can't expect them to just instantly respawn. Guess I'll give them another minute or so, and if they don't show up, we'll just head out of here. Gives me time to meditate, cast Energy Bolt a couple times. But man, we slaughtered those guys. Poor sheep. Major again. That's what's up. Here we go, another witch. Hey, old friend. They still hurt, but nothing we can't handle at this moment. So we got another wand, magic hat, night shade. So I have three scrolls. Resurrection. It's not super useful, but I can hold on to it. And recall. A third recall scroll. Think about how many things we killed on this character trying to find a recall scroll. And we've gotten three in a row just now. But I wouldn't be able to defeat them at this rate without a silver weapon. There's just no way. Not possible. Oops. Another major again. This is this is my morning. Poor guy. Wrong place, wrong time. One meat. I'll take it. Thank you. Yeah, I guess it's just too slow, but, you know, the silver weapon works wonders. It works great. This would be a great place to come occasionally and just pick up a quick thousand gold. Maybe a little bit more. A couple magic items if you're lucky. And then head on out. Don't overstay the welcome. Now we've got a rune marked at the Eulichus. So 
So we can come back here quickly at any time. Really need a rune book. Need to organize this stuff better somehow. Didn't I have a scroll backpack? Yeah, okay. So I already have multiple resurrection scrolls. Meteor Swarm. Explosion. Six Circle. Probably end up throwing most of those away, honestly. Okay, let's see what we got in terms of wands. Magic Arrow. It's garbage. Nice identification wand. Weakness. That's garbage. Another identification wand. This one with few charges, so we'll use this one first, and that will be our backup wand. Check the hat. Terrible. And why would you want that, you know? I'm going to buy a couple more runes so that I have some on tap. You know, I have to keep just a few blank runes on me. So if I ever find points of interest or places I want to mark, I can do it without thinking about it. Let's go with, uh, let's get three. And I didn't use enough components to need to get more. So we're back up to 19,000, basically the same value we had before we bought the boat. Got enough bandages. I'm not sure. We could go back to shame, build some skills there, or keep raiding the liches every so often. Let's see if they've respawned yet. Probably not. Maybe one. This one's almost dead before the other one even picks up on us. Ouch. Paralyzed. Okay, well I healed though, so... Take that gold, that ginseng. Bless, I might not have that. Look, another recall scroll. What is happening? This guy had two wands. Reveal, we have it. Energy field, don't need it. Going at night sight. A little dark. But yeah, you could easily jump in here, clear the spawn, and head out. A thousand gold. More than a thousand gold. My bank is starting to fill up. It wouldn't be the worst thing to have a small house to put some of my loot in. Especially if I'm going to keep picking up a bunch of garbage. Another recall scroll. Just, just seeing all these recall scrolls. Kind of makes me want to vomit. Knowing how that was basically the last scroll that I got in my quest to fill out the book. So nuts.
guess that's that. It's been it's been worked. Ended up with like almost three thousand gold as a result of this situation. Check out those wands. Ideally, we get a magic weapon or something, you know. Lightning, I think I have another lightning right there, so we'll put this one with it. Yeah, if you see my bank, I'm at 95 items. 125 is the limit, so I'm already starting to push that. But to get a house, we would need 40k, so I guess that might be a short-term goal, is to get a small house, place a small house. Preferably somewhere here on Moonglow. The Liches are definitely faster money than Earth Elementals. There's no doubt, you know, they're so fast to defeat. So I need to put that up. Switch my Arm Disarm macro to left hand. Go back to the quarterstaff. Maybe take out some Earth Elementals or something for some skill gain. Being that we're in shame, we can put on Magic Reflect. Because there is no, no magical creatures, no casting creatures up here on this first level. So Madri is just moving right along. 62 and 58.9. You know, it, like I said, it would start to go a little faster once we started casting 6 Circle with the goal of raising. So in about 10 more points, we could go to wind, mess around with some demons and some dragons in mostly unmolested area. So there's not a lot of traffic through wind. Which, we're not having that problem here either, but... Just higher level creatures. Armor's down to 9, so probably could use a new set of leather sometime soon. My bandages go through? Yeah, it did. Forgot to check. Admirable still. Okay. Even these guys are just starting to become easy, relatively speaking. But it's a good location to raise my macing skills, my major even. It's just a solid, solid place. But yeah, I think that's going to be my next short-term goal. Try to place a small house with this character, just to have places to put things. Base of operations, if you will. Trying to avoid finger slippage. Back to the bad bandages. So now hopefully in the event we do need blade spirits, should be a lot more successful in casting the spell due to the higher majory. Always gotta remember to put that silver mace up though, I don't want it. Don't wanna lose it for nothing if we're not at least using it. Let's finish him off with an energy bolt. So we're a powerful mage as well. Fizzle. Gain. Another game. Another game. Wow, three games basically in a row. It doesn't get better than that.
another game. I don't care how many components I burn. Burn them all. Just give me gains. Awesome. So that's 1.1 in major this time around. That is phenomenal. Meditation's been going up. Meditation is the highest gaining skill so far this episode. And because we can recall around, we could take out a few earth elementals, jump back to liches, defeat those, clear them out. Kind of do a little bit faster type of farming. More efficient. That way I'm still gaining skills, which is the main goal, while still getting more gold than I would just sitting here camping earth elementals. But using the downtime efficiently to raise my skills here at Shane. Formidable Intellect. Man, this gold pill is so slow compared to Lich's now. Let's uh, get one more. So last night, I, you know, Boomland Jenkins posted a link to a Reddit, Reddit thread about the pre-alpha build of Ultima Online, and I downloaded that and I played around. There's a video on my channel. It's going to be old by the time this video shows up, but uh, pretty cool. I mean, it was neat to see the early stages of Ultima Online, and there's, you know, it only has Britain available, and there's like a literal boundary there so that you can go no farther than the outskirts of Britain Forest, but it's just really neat to see, and you can see that a lot of things from the alpha ended up staying in the real game. I mean, there didn't seem to be anything to fight, but you could equip and unequip your dagger, you could drop your clothing items, you had a backpack and a skill window and stats and things. Very cool stuff. The music was pretty good, too. Let's, let's hit those liches again real quick. Yep, they're all back. Too many. Let's see if we can't block at least one of them. Definitely need to be careful. They could all decide to drop energy bolt or explosion on me at once. There's an EB. Let's see if I can get their health pulled up. Come on, bandages. Bit off a little bit more than I could chew. There we go. Ouch.
Okay, you got one separated, it looks like. Yeah, glad I did not stick around for all of them to attack me. It's kind of pushing it here, too. Okay, it's a magic necklace. Stamina is drained, slower attack speed because of that. Could drink a refresh potion. Lock, just got that gate travel. Good stuff, but don't need it. Really need to wait for the bandages to tick through before I fight him. What was another one? Bail bandage. Come on. Just gonna heal. One more hit. Pick up him. Loot while we can. Skinning knife. Just interested to see what it is. We don't at want for identification charges at this point. Still paralyzed. Look at those. Bless. Look at all that. Another lich. Yeah, I really shouldn't let myself get as low as I'm getting health-wise, but it does seem like the spawn kind of backs up. Like, uh, like once you wait a while, there's the four or whatever, and then as you start defeating them, it seems like they're in the backlog ready to spawn. But that was a quick 2k. Infinitely faster than Earth Elementals. More dangerous, but still infinitely faster. Keep that reflect up, just in case. You never know when some untoward player may show up and try to relieve us of our belongings. I guess that's all we can get out of this. About 2k, so about seven liches or so. That's still really good. And, you know, they do drop magic weapons, so there's a chance I could get another silver weapon. The chance I could get, I don't know what the highest they would drop is, maybe force. Force should be technically higher than a GM weapon as far as quality. So that wouldn't be such a bad thing to get. Oh, there's a lich. I'll take him out before I go. Energy bolt to his face. Thanks to my magic reflect. Let's 
some fame. So we've gone up another step, at least in terms of what these guys offer. Magic Staff. I haven't been checking the staves. Most of the time they're not magic. Obviously here. Yeah, see, most of the time they are not. Okay, I think the spawn is pretty much toast at this point. Let's see what we got. Got 36 charges left on our lowest wand. Farming is terrible. At least lightning or fireball you could potentially use. Clumsy. So Demon's Breath and Ruin, that might be Fireball. I mean, that's a lot of charges. Hmm. Let's just keep that for now. Not a Swordsman, but... Interesting nonetheless. Lightning, another Lightning item. Agility, not awful, but... Could use some of this gold to buy some more components. Might as well. Well, it hasn't been hasn't been long enough, but fortunately, Moongla, the town of mages, has many mage shops. So I get a little bit of blood moss, like ten, twelve, get another. 40 Shade and Pearl will be good. Actually, I don't really need Mandrake Root. Somehow I ended up using a lot more Black Pearl, I guess, from marking the rune. That must have been it. That's really all I need. It's more than I need. So that was 300 gold. So 22. So to buy a house, I think the house is 35,000. Could be 38. Let's go check. Not 100% sure. I'm not sure who has it. One of these people. Okay, it's 44,000. Not sure why I was thinking 38, but 44,000. So that would be the goal for the smallest house. The next size up is 150 and 152. Then you get two larger houses, like a two-story at 200,000, tower at 400,000. The keep, which is my personal favorite house and layout, is 660,000. And the biggest house available is the castle at 1 million gold. Those, you know, despite being 1 million gold, I mean, the bigger problem is being able to place a castle. They take up so much space, there's really, literally, only a certain amount of spaces on the server, on any given server, that a castle can even fit. Yeah, that, that seems like a good idea for the short-term goal. Still... 1.1 1 .1 in Majory is excellent. Might go try the Liches again real quick. Just It's nice to be able to duck in and out. Not have to walk all the way over here. In fact, it's, it's game-changing to be able to just recall in and out to this location. But yeah, 250 gold apiece. Um, so it's four liches per thousand. If I needed, say, 20,000 gold, I would need to kill 80 liches. If that's all I killed. And if I didn't spend any gold. Not awful.
Now, if I lost the silver weapon, it'd be a totally different situation. Either from PK or somehow losing the corpse and having it decay. Then, then this would slow down dramatically. And even when I get 44,000, I'm not confident that I would want to immediately spend it on a house just because I need it for spell components. Rags. It's only three there this time. Hmm. Means the other ones should be spawning soon. I guess. Take out this jackrabbit in the meantime. And once we get to like 68, 69, maybe a little closer to 70, we can, on the shown skill, we should be able to gain from casting 7th circle, whether we fizzle or not. It is nice to kind of rebuild the reg supply while we're doing this. I mean, three is not much, but it adds up when you're not using many components to defeat these guys. It's like an extra 10 gold bonus. Let's see. There's something we could cast Energy Bolt on. Finch. Too far away. Man, all those gains were really front-loaded, not having so much luck now, but it's nice while it lasted. So, I've gotten two macing, two tactics, one and a half meditation, 1.1 majory, point of resist, even got a healing gain in there. Can't complain about that. Absolutely solid. And to think most of that happened in the first 25 minutes, something like that. Pretty impressive. And, you know, I think we could go to Deceit, but the problem with Deceit, I feel like there were even less liches than there are here. I mean, maybe throughout the whole dungeon, but I wouldn't want to run back and forth trying to find liches with all of that other spawn there. Basically, I don't want to waste the Silver Mace because it is, over time, losing durability and it will eventually become useless. I don't want to waste that on specters and stuff. Yeah, if only we had this when we were trying to fill out the spell book. Think about how fast that would have been. Incredible. Nope. Don't want any of that. Just want to drop an energy bolt on something. Guess we've exhausted it for now. And that crypt of the road only has one ledge. Most graveyards only have one ledge. So I can't really think of any better place to find witches than something like this. This is probably about as good as it gets, but you're better off recalling to some other location, popping in and out of here, getting 1k or so, Coming back in 10 or 15 minutes is what it looks like to me. But 
But yeah, you should be able to see how much that silver mace improved my ability to farm. Like just instantly I can collect so much more money. Sitting at 24,000 almost, well 23,000 closer to. Let's take out 30 cloth. Set up our macro to be... Really it'd be nice to have two macros. One for my left hand and one for my right hand. So let me think about where I can put this right hand macro. Okay, that'll work. That way I could have one macro for each. Because I don't want to have to reset it every time. But I think I'll call it here for now. Maybe cut these bandages real quick. Meditate a couple more times. Cast my mana worth of energy bolt. This is a strange place to macro. Someone could kill that bird pretty easily. Someone could kill her pretty easily. She's not calling guards. You can be far enough away from an NPC. But fortunately, Osher is not a griefer, at least not at the moment. And maybe in terms of that, maybe it is a better place than, say, the bank. Because less, you're going to have less foot traffic over here to identify that you're AFK. And there's 30 bandages already cut. Got a major again. Cool. Let's go for a couple more before we quit. One and a half points would be phenomenal. But yeah, I'm excited to be able to go to wind. I'd like to be able to go there. I know it's some distance away. You know, maybe by episode mid-twenties or something I can get to wind. I really need to think of a good place to go beyond earth elementals and liches, but it's really nice to see that, you know, the horizons are broadening for this character as far as where he can go, where he can survive, and what he can do. Ma magic resist will be a great one. Um, I kind of wonder, if I cast that in town, will I take less damage than casting it out of town? Let's go in a far corner and test that out. Because anyone could come by, run through it, and call guards on me. So let's just, let's just see. Oh, it can't be cast in town. So you'd have to walk outside of town cast it, and then maybe drop it in town. Let's see here. That's town. Maybe this is in town? Let's see my magic resist going up. Oh, I'm going to die. Seventeen point one. Seventeen point two, so it's going up. It's just a little slow at first, and I really can't heal myself well enough to to do this like you might want to do. If I had better meditation, better majory, and I can't tell if it's doing more than one damage to me. I'll try it one more time and see. Make sure I can cast it for sure in town, though this guy might wander into it. Let's see if we can go a little further down here, or up here. So this is town. We're in town. Can't cast this, right? No. So for sure that's town. So let's walk over here. We're going to try to cast it like way over there. So that should be for sure in town, because I'm not sure if it was doing one damage to me or not. Come on, bandages. There we go. So let's put it way over here. That's for sure in town. It still seems like it's doing more than one damage. Definitely doing more than one damage or hitting multiple times per go. But, I got half a point. Still pretty slow going. I 
it was worth a try, but at some point I need to use fire field to raise my resist. But now is not that time, it seems. Fourteen health. Very difficult to heal at that level. Okay, well I'd say this is a successful venture. We raised about ten points worth of our core skills. Um, you know, not as ideal as maybe we hope, but solid. Let's finish this out with one more cast of Energy Bolt. Maybe get, you know, one more gain here at the end. Okay, and we can call it. Thanks for tuning in to episode 17, and we'll see you next time. Like, comment, subscribe, all the good stuff uh, for the algorithm, and we'll see you on episode 18. And our new short-term goal is going to be to purchase a small house for Osher, so that our bank does not overflow with garbage. I mean, I think that's still going to happen, but so our house can overflow with garbage as well. <laughs>